What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today I'm going to continue the series of things you can do without jailbreaking on your device. And the first thing I've been showing you was how you can install themes on your uh, iPhone if it's not jailbroken on iOS 10.1.1. And you, you can see the video up here in the cards if you missed it, but it was 10.1.1 when of course it's not uh, jailbroken. So I'm going to show you real quick, I'm not jailbroken, there is no CDI installed on my device because there is no jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1, but still, check this out. I have iFile, which is an application that's only available for uh, jailbroken devices. It's an application that's only available in CDI store. Uh, all right, I'm going to show you that everything in this app works. Keep in mind that this application you're going to install, it's not um, it's not available in a um, cracked or patched version or something like this. The app you're going to download from the uh, description, it is the alleged application which is not activated. I'm going to show you on the registration status, it's not registered so we didn't we do not promote piracy here you have the free version that you you can get from cydia if you want to buy the app you can buy a license in the cydia store i'm not putting here any um, paid cracked applications so no we want to support the uh, developers all right i'm going to show you that the app works and i want to find the binary of the app because i want to open a uh, hex uh, editor and this will probably take a little bit. Let me uh, try to uh, file. All right, I file. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to open hex editor. And as you can see, the uh, hex editor did started completely. And I'm actually able to write uh, hex without having a jailbreak. This is a good part, right? I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go till this point and to the developer system, library, core services, system version, plist. As you can see, we can open the plist and so on. So uh, of course you cannot access the um, the root file system of this because you probably understand you need jailbreak in order to be able to understand, uh, to, uh, sorry, to uh, open the applications. Those folders will be empty, but you can create your own folders and you can manage your files very good using this application because you probably know iFile is one of the most uh, loved uh, file manager applications. Uh, now I'm going to show you how you can install it. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's install this application. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple and we're going to only need two things. Well, three if you want to count the phone. Right, the first thing is Cydia Impactor. This is an application created by the Cydia author, so you don't have to worry about the app. It's in the description. It will detect automatically your iPhone right here and the iFile IPA. Again, this is not a cracked application. This is the uh, normal application, the free version of it. So I'm going to drop it right here and you need to sign in with your iTunes email and password. Don't worry, this application is safe. I'm going to propose because yeah, right. So then you, you will need to click OK. It will show you this will sign the IPA and it will take a little bit because it's a big file and will install it directly to your phone. I think we don't have to tell you that the phone should be connected first. And will install it to your screen, but first you will need to be able to uh, sign the profile. I'm going to show you in just a couple of seconds. Verifying the app, there you go. Your app is now on the screen, but you cannot open it. And I'm going to show you what you need to do. All right, guys, so as you can see, after you install the app for the first time, when you click it, you will see this. Untrusted developer, your device management settings do not allow using apps from developer and your, um, your email address. You need to do this. You're going to go to settings and to general, and then from the general, you're going to go to device management. Click on your username, click trust, trust again, and here you go. Now you're going to close everything, go back here to the apps and voila, you can open it. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate this video if you think it's useful and till the next time, peace out.